Angola is one of the richest countries in Africa. In 2016, it had the eighth highest gross domestic product. However, Angola is also characterized by significant wealth inequality, underdevelopment, and political instability. A leading theory to explain this paradox is the resource curse. The resource curse emerges in countries that depend heavily on natural resources like oil and diamonds for their budget and exports. My research, based on extensive secondary literature review, seeks to understand how the resource curse emerges and persists in order to understand if it could be reversed in Angola. The resource curse does not emerge in all resource-dependent countries. Canada, Norway, and Botswana are notable examples of developed and democratic countries that depend on natural resources. Rather, the resource curse emerges in countries that have weak institutions at the time that resources are discovered. In Angola's case, resources were discovered in the 1950s during the struggle for colonial independence. In the ensuing 27-year civil war, competing factions fought for control over resources. Evidently, Angola lacked the institutions needed to ensure fair allocation of resource wealth. The political and economic systems were shaped to benefit a small elite. Currently, oil accounts for 45% of Angola's state budget and 90% of its exports. Angola is considered a democracy in, a, in the sense that it holds regular elections. However, elections are often considered fraudulent, and the political and economic system has been formed to support a small elite. As a result, Angola is closer to a competitive authoritarian regime than a democracy. Just as institutions are fundamental to the emergence of the resource curse, institutions can also be used to reverse it. Angola could implement inclusive and accountable institutions that would ensure for fair allocation of resource wealth and development. It may seem unlikely that those in power who benefit from the current system would implement such changes. However, as Angolans continue to see the success of oil without experiencing the political, economic, and social benefits, the cost of continued oppression continues. As the cost of oppression becomes greater than the cost of further democratization, it is possible that political elites will be incentivized to implement the institutions needed to reverse the resource curse in Angola.